Hello friends, happy Friday. Aroma de Cuba Robusto. Another one of Pepin Garcia's uh, fine products. One that I think I've had on a Friday ramble before, but yeah, I like them. It's actually one of the first cigars that I got at a cigar event. So I've been smoking cigars for a long time, but I never went to any of the um, the events. You know, like the local shop would have a guy in, uh, and <laughs> sounds silly, but that's what they did. They had a guy in from um, from Pepin Garcia's uh, factory, and he talked about these cigars and uh, told us some interesting stuff. You know, about pairings and things like that. He recommended smoking the cigar with uh, some dark chocolate and coconut and I thought that's crazy but they actually had some there and we all got a free cigar and sure enough the coconut and black and dark chocolate really pulled out some flavors in this and now when I smoke this I actually pick up notes of coconut and dark chocolate I don't know if I would have done that if it wasn't for that experience it was a lot of fun and uh, I left with a box of cigars because I, I really enjoyed it and have been smoking them ever since. Actually, I'll have to have to try to remember to show you some Sunday um, on my workbench. I've got a little caddy that I made out of a, an Aroma de Cuba box. Uh, and it just holds the various, uh, not, not not all the tools I use, but like some small tools that I like to keep close at hand. And it's got some circular cutouts for uh, mineral oil, water, and, and ethanol bottles that I use all the time. Uh, so yeah, I've, I've, I've had a few boxes of them and the boxes are still serving me. So. So I'll turn you around and show you what's going on here. I need a haircut, boy. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. We'll see a nice clean cut me on Sunday. Um, it's raining. It's not too bad. I went out to lunch today. It was beautiful. It was probably around 70 degrees, blue sky. I thought, boy, it's going to be a nice drive home. It's going to be a really nice video. I'm going to take a route with where I know there's a lot of flowering trees. And it's raining but that's okay. Um, and I can't take that route anyway because my wife called and her car broke down and she needs me to go to the grocery store again. But I was proud of her. She actually went and uh, got the car towed herself and Didn't, didn't even call me to tell me it broke down. She called me after everything was done. She did well. So the, what's actually wrong with the car is kind of funny. Um, it, she's had this car for 15 years. We've been talking about replacing it, but she can't quite decide what she wants. And, so, you know, it's it's starting to show its age. And for about a month, a month and a half, we get in the car. So so whenever we go out, she drives. She gets car sick if she's the passenger. So I'm always the passenger, she's always the driver. And she doesn't like my car, so we always take her car. And every time we go out, uh, for the past month and a half or so, we get in the car, she put the key in the ignition, She'd turn the key and nothing would happen. She'd turn it back. She'd turn it again and it would start. And I said, you know, you should get that checked. It looks, sounds like your ignition switch is going. Oh no, it's fine, it always starts. So this would happen at least once a week. And uh, today she couldn't get it to start and she gets it towed to the local shop and 
the guy says to her, yeah, it's probably the ignition switch. And she tells me this as if it's a revelation. <laughs> and I've been telling her to get the ignition switch tested for a month and a half. Oh, well. <laughs> There's this weird thing where, and I've talked to other guys and women, frankly, about this. and. You know, there's this thing where women tend to just not believe their husbands, but they'll believe a complete stranger if they tell them the same thing. I don't know. I don't think it's a trust thing. I mean, I think she trusts me. I, I trust her. There's just something about, you know, I'm, I'm just too dumb to be able to know what was wrong with the car. And she had to get a professional even though the professional, she doesn't, she's never met him before and has no interest at all in her car. It's, it's always funny to, to look at how couples interact and, and, and some of the sort of stereotyped things that, that happen. You know, it gets into that whole, and I don't like this, but that whole men are from Mars and women for, are, are from Venus thing and all that. I, I, I don't like that because I think it simplifies things too much. I think it, it makes excuses for for poor behavior, frankly. Um, I mean, people are people. Um, and yes, there are certain characteristics that men have that are unique from the characteristics that women have, and vice versa. But that doesn't give either group the... Uh, Go ahead, let me go. That doesn't give either group the right to be, you know, nasty to, to the other. And, and sometimes it's used that way, you know. I, I, I can justify my behavior because I'm a guy. And I, I don't think that's right. Which is not to say I don't have to apologize for a lot of things. Because... Uh, you know, I have, and I do. Uh, so this weather is going to you know, probably be like this off and on throughout the weekend. We are supposedly getting like a 5% chance of rain tomorrow morning. And it's going to get a bit worse as the, uh, the day goes on. And, well, my plans for this weekend are all over the place at this point because my wife is attending a, a two-day class, and as of two o'clock this afternoon, I was really happy because that meant I'm going to have a bachelor weekend and get to do whatever I want. <laughs> but uh, now that her car's broken, I guess I'm going to be the chauffeur. Plus, I was informed that there are several errands that she needed to run today that she couldn't because of the car, so I get to run those tomorrow. So, you know, such is life. But, got a, got a lot, of, lot of work to do. I, I spent some time out in the yard last weekend and sort of got that started, but we got, I got some leaves piled up from, from, from the fall still that I need to move, and a lot of a lot of branches came down and I got most of the the, the branches in the front yard up but the side of the backyard is um, is still got quite a few big ones in it that I'm gonna have to cut up and yeah maybe there's some some tampers or some chisel handles in there we'll see I, uh, if you follow me regularly, you, you might have missed me on Sunday, or maybe you just didn't notice. <laughs> I just got very busy last weekend and, and didn't have time to, to even think about making a video. I was actually in the shop a lot of the time, but I just didn't have the time to, to make a video. And I'm hopefully going to make one this weekend. I, I don't see any reason why. I won't be able to unless this car thing turns into a, a bigger problem that I'm 
imagining right now. But we shall see. Um, and next week, the, the, so I'll do a video this Sunday probably, and I pr probably will not do one for about two weeks because next week is is Holy Week, uh, so I'm certainly not going to do one on Good Friday. Um, not going to work on Good Friday, and then Easter Sunday I'm, I'm not going to be doing a video. So it'll probably be you know a two week period where you don't see me, but. I'll be back. You can't get rid of me that easily. Well, other than continuing, oh, here's some here's some flowering trees. They just over the past week started to pop out, and they're so pretty. They just. It's, it's the perfect thing to let you know that the winter is finally over. Here's a few more that hopefully you can see off to the right here. And uh, yeah, it just makes me happy to see them. That and when the daffodils pop up, which is, is currently ongoing, there's a few of those and probably in your view as well. But anyway, I, uh, I don't have very much more on my mind today. Uh, it was a busy week, good week, enjoyed everything, uh, glad I had a chance to, to talk with you and you know, enjoy some of this cigar with you. Again, it's the Aroma de Cuba, it's the Robusto, highly recommended. So with that, folks, I'm going to sign off. Hope you all have a great weekend. Stay dry if you're anywhere near me. And we'll talk soon.